Video games are fun. Music is also fun. Putting them together, you get a mind-blowing experience of musical interactive amazingness. As you may know, I'm a musician. Not a particularly good one, though. But the whole reason why I'm a musician in the first place is because of video games. It's a classic story of playing Guitar Hero as a small child and wanting to play the real thing. Personally, I only learned guitar for about a year in 2010 and dropped it because all I learned was... Until I picked it back up in 2017 and taught myself how to play Simple and Clean from Kingdom Hearts. I owe a lot to games like Lego Rock Band and The Beatles Rock Band. And that's it! I had Guitar Hero 3, but I don't remember getting past Hit Me With Your Best Shot on Easy Mode, which is depressing. These games really cemented a love of music in me at a young age. Using the plastic guitar to play along with Beatles classics and emo rock. That's a fucking juxtaposition. I always come back to the LEGO Rock Band OST because there's just so many amazing songs in there. Jack Yes Juliet by We The Kings, Dig by Incubus, Summer 69 by Brian Adams, and Motherfucking Life Is A Highway by Rascal Flatts, also known as that one song from Cars. I even remember having a full set of instruments too. Guitars, drum kit, and a microphone too. But I think I broke the drum kit by constantly leaning on the red drum pad? And I lost the mic at a mate's place, sadly. My next love was a combination of a point-and-click adventure and rhythm minigames with a really cool story. Plus, it was on a 3DS, so that's extra cool. Rhythm Thief and the Emperor's Treasure isn't just another game that Sega abandoned in favors to focus on Sonic. Well, it is, but it isn't just that. You play as a boy named Raphael by day and a thief named Phantomar by night. You follow his journey to find his father who abandoned him when he was younger by going along with the rhythm and solving puzzles around Paris. There's so much more to this story, but I really don't want to spoil too, too much of it. Like any other Sega game, the OST is simply amazing. Oh. Oh no! You son of a bitch! I thought I said no! You don't have- of course I don't have enough free space. Before I was so rudely interrupted by some dumbass laptop trying to update, like any other Sega game, the OST is simply amazing. You really do feel like you're solving an ancient conspiracy while feeling like a badass dancing thief in Paris. There's a wide variety of music and scenarios in the game, from a frantic battle to a boppin' love song to straight up Samba de Amigo in Space Channel 5. This game is such an underrated gem on the 3DS, so if you can get your hands on it, either physical or digital, preferably digital because it's too expensive, Please give it a shot. Or at least watch Rezil's. I'm sorry, I'm probably getting that wrong. Please watch their video about what happened to Rhythm Thief. It's a really good watch. More recently, I've fallen in love with DDR. Before COVID, I would go out to the nearest arcade just to play a couple of games. And since the nearest arcade was a 20 to 30 minute bus ride away, it, that just kind of showed how addicted I was. Still am, to some extent. Every day after work, which used to be a weekly thing for me, I would go out with a mate just to play some DDR, have some ice cream, and just hang. Which was really cool. But once I caught wind that an arcade closer to me was being renovated and it was going to have DDR, I was excited beyond all belief. But then I found out that it was Pump It Up. At first I was like, what the fuck is this? But then over time, I got the hang of it, I grew to love it, and now I prefer it over DDR. Over the Christmas holidays, I would go to the arcade on a near daily basis just to play it. 
I went there so often that I now have a VIP time zone golden card. Which basically means I spent way too much money there. And I also get a free credit a day. It doesn't really mean much now that I think about it. But it means a lot to me. It is so lovely meeting people playing Pump It Up or DDR. It's like you just know these people just because you play the same game. Well, yeah, rhythm games are cool. Pure and simple. And clean is the way that you're making me feel tonight. It's hard to let it go. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to add, so I'll end it with this. Please, please, please play Rhythm Thief and the Emperor's Treasure if you have the chance. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed what Evs this was. Uh, I hope that you have a lovely day, afternoon, evening, or whenever. And bye bye!